What up? It's your boy Cherokee. Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. Wanted to talk real quick. One of my subscribers posted up a question, probably I think it was like last week, on what sports will she be able to do? Um, or actually, I posted up a video on what sports you'll be able to do after labrum surgery and how fast you should be able to recover from them. Um, here's her question was basically geared toward boxing. She's a boxer, which is actually pretty damn cool. I'm actually going to put up a link to her actual blog. She has a pretty cool blog. I checked, checked out a few videos. Um, but basically, she's a female amateur boxer, and she wanted to know how long during, after recovery, will she be able to get back onto actually doing um, punching bags. And I remember back vaguely about two and a half months ago or so. I'm at six months now. I want to say at about the four-month mark, <clears throat> I tried hitting the punching bag. I wasn't tapping it too hard, though. I was afraid of, of too much impact and actually the impact actually hurting my shoulder again. So I was just kind of tapping the punching bag and really I was just passing by, by, by the punching bag. I wasn't really planning on actually making it part of my routine. But in this instance, I made it part of my routine. So I'm going to show you exactly kind of what I did. It's just a heavy bag hit and show you guys this right now and kind of go through it real quick and comment on it through, throughout. So I'm not exactly a uh, professional or even amateur boxer, I could hold my own, but um, I know exactly how to punch on a punching bag for the most part. Um, I know you're not supposed to hit that shit straight up because a heavy bag will break your wrist. So just doing some real basic movements here, nothing crazy. I just wanted to see how exactly my shoulder would react to punching the bag for a solid 5 to 10 minutes. So this is basically what I did. I'm gonna throw some MMA style stuff in there too, you know, just in case, you know, it's a different impact coming off from your elbows and it is coming straight up. And uh, honestly, it felt good. I didn't feel any sort of pain afterwards either. Um, I didn't feel any sort of uh, discomfort at all. I just wanted to basically hit the bag as hard as I could a couple times, make a couple combos, and see if I felt any pain. So yeah guys, that's basically the video, just wanted to kind of put that out there. Honestly, after that, no discomfort whatsoever. I didn't feel any pain. Um, it actually felt good. It was a nice little cardio routine for a good 10 to 15 minutes during my workout. Um, kind of broke up the monotony a little bit, so I liked it. I might actually throw it in there every now and then. Um, but that's it. Uh, hopefully that actually helps you guys out if you're looking at boxing after uh, having labrum surgery. I would venture to say if I probably would have tried this around maybe the five month mark, I would have probably been okay too, maybe even sooner, probably maybe even at the four month mark, four month mark as well. Again, when I tried it out just really vaguely, really really briefly, I didn't want to injure it or anything. Um, and it was around probably the same time that I was actually um, I was playing, uh, I was actually coaching my son's football team. And in coaching the team, I went in to collide with the kid. And so I don't land on the kid, I kind of just like hopped over him and landed on my shoulder. So it felt kind of sore for like a week after that. I was like, shit, did I fuck something up? So I tried to tap up the, uh, the thing. I didn't really feel anything, but again, I didn't really want to try to push it too hard. Um, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, uh, you know, you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. Check me out on Facebook, share the video, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.